We're now going to close the loop formally by bringing our definition of statistical entropy uh, into the realm of partition functions. So once again, we're going to start with our Gibbs formulation for entropy, which is minus KB times the sum over states, the probability of the state times the log of that probability. And we're now going to uh, see how we can develop this into an expression that tells us how the entropy is dependent upon a partition function. Now I'll remind you that our probabilities for the jth state could be written in this way, 1 over the partition function times e to the minus beta ej. And what I want to do is I want to take this expression for pj and plug it in here, but not over here. I just want to use this to substitute for the argument of the logarithm in this expression. So when I write this out, I'll have minus kb times the sum over j of the probability sub j. And now I'll, I'll separate this in brackets. I'm going to take the log of something that looks like b over a. And so that's just going to be log of b minus log of a. So the b in this case is this part, and the a is this part. So I'll have the log of e to the minus beta ej, so I'll have minus beta ej. And the z is the, is the denominator part, so I'll have just minus this log of z. All right, so where does this take me? Well, I can separate these two terms out. And for example, the first term will just be plus kb times beta times the summation over j of the probability of the jth state times the energy of the jth state. And the second term is going to give me kb sum over j log of z times the probability of j. Now the log of z doesn't depend upon j, so I can bring it outside of the summation. Um, I'll point out that, in fact, what we have here, well, this combination of factors, kb times beta, is just going to give me a 1 over temperature. But what I have here otherwise is the probability of the j state times its energy. So I've calculated here the average energy of this system. So I'll write that out more formally as the average energy divided by temperature. That's this whole first term here. And then we're going to add to that kb log of z, but it's going to be multiplying a term that is the sum over all the states of the probabilities of the states, but I know that's just equal to 1, so I don't even have to worry about it. So, whoa, I have here an expression that tells me exactly how the entropy depends upon the partition function for this system. All right, and it's actually, it actually looks like a fairly simple formulation here. And uh, in fact, um, I, I'm, I could improve on it perhaps by writing, you know, the average energy is minus d log beta uh, of log z. But, uh, you know, why do that? Oftentimes we know what the average energy of the system is. And in fact, we usually equate this with the internal energy. Uh, our thermodynamic internal energy. So uh, if, I, if I want, I suppose I could write a, a more formal version of this is that the entropy is going to be the internal energy over temperature plus Kb log of the system partition function. And this is, in fact, going to be my working operation. Now let's see how this works. For example, if we were looking at a monatomic ideal gas. All right, so this is just an example to sort of illustrate what we're talking about. So we'll have a monatomic ideal gas. And I know that for this monatomic ideal gas, I can write the system partition function as equal to the molecular partition function over n factorial. Now, I said molecular partition function. It's a monatomic gas. So the only thing that's happening for this gas is translational motion. So the only uh, portion of the of the partition function we're going to have is the translational part of the partition function divided by n factorial. So now if I plug this into my expression for uh, s, I, I guess the other thing I want to make a note of is that I already know what the average energy is for a monatomic ideal gas because we figured that out uh, in the previous module. And if I have just one mole, 
that's just going to be equal to 3 halves RT. So let's uh, formally adopt this one mole as our convention here. So the N that I'm talking about here is going to be equal to Avogadro's number N. All right, so what does that imply now about the rest of this entropy? Okay, so let me write this out. So I know that the average energy over temperature is just going to be this over temperature, so it's going to be 3 halves times R. What about the rest of this stuff? Well, I'm going to have plus KB, and now for this log of Z, I'm going to have a log of Z to the N, that's now being the molecular partition function, over N factorial. And if I write all this out, I'll have log of z to the n, but that's just going to be equal to n log z. And then I'm going to have minus log of n factorial. Now, to simplify this one, we're going to use something called the Stirling approximation. And uh, if you haven't seen it before, you should. But it basically says that this log of n factorial, when n is really large, it's very well approximated by this, n log n minus n. So let's plug that in for that. So in the end, I'll have here that this is equal to 3 halves r plus n kb, but I said n is going to be the Avogadro's constant, so Avogadro's number times the Boltzmann constant is just r. And this will be times log of the translational partition function for the, for the atoms. Over here, I'm going to end up with factors of n that will multiply by kb. So I'll have, again, a factor of r times log of n minus 1. But I'll have minus r times minus 1, so that's a plus r. I can add it over here to get 5 halves r plus r log z minus r log n, so I'll have r log of little z over n. Now if you remember what our translational partition function was for a molecule, we can actually plug that directly in and we'll have this is equal to 5 halves r plus r times log and the translational partition function was 2 pi m kbt over h squared raised to the 3 halves power times the volume, but I'm dividing by n, so when I divide the volume by some number of moles, what I'm getting is the molar volume. So this will be our compact expression for the entropy content of one mole of a monatomic ideal gas at temperature T, specified here in this expression.